Hey, it's Mr. Grable here. So today we are reviewing our lesson today, 11.7. This is problem solving, find the area of rectangles. We've been working on finding the area. Remember, area is the inside of a shape. Remember area, um, I've been telling you, you can fill in the A's, so that should help you remember. And then perimeter, remember, is adding around the outside and I always extend that T around perimeter to try to help you remember. It is tricky to remember the difference between the two. So area is the space inside. And these are all story problems. And right away, kids always get thrown off with big word problems like this. There's a lot going on here. We got A, B, C, D. We got a whole bunch of numbers. Um, so I'm going to show you three different problems. I'm going to try to walk through them with some clarity. And if I go a little too fast for you, please go ahead and pause the video and write down, show your work. You can always ask me if you have any questions. So here are the three problems that I want to show you. The first one is number one. This is who, this whole problem is very overwhelming. There's some big words. There is a graph. There's some different drop down menus and things. So not only do we have to do math, we also have to do a lot of reading. We also have to do a lot of thinking. So it reads like this. Many pools come in rectangular shapes. Okay. I know what a rectangle is. How do the areas change, area, space inside, change when the widths change? And I notice widths right here in my table. Use the table to answer the questions. First, complete the table by finding the area of each pool. So area, we know, is length times width. So pool A, here I'll do a quick run. It is um, 8 by 30 feet. Oh, man, if you remember back to multiplication, 8 times 30 is not as complicated as what we think. We're just going to move the zero. I call it the zero my hero trick. So we do eight times three and we get 24. And we're just going to move the zero over. So eight times three is 240. 240 square feet. We do the same thing for B. If you want, the drawing would look like this. It's eight and then the width is 40. 840 and the area is 8 times 40 and you can do 8 times 4 is 32 move the 0 now some of you are like oh man Mr. Grable this is really tough with the 8s I agree 8s are tough to multiply this is why we're working on multiplication frequency every single day and I can go ahead and um, find the area for C and D I will show you C, 8 times 50 to find the area. This is tricky because um, 8 times 5 is 40, and we have to move that other zero. So lots of times get kids get confused with the two zeros here. But remember, 8 times 5 is 40, and then we would move the other zero to get 400. Um, then 8 times 60 is 480. Then find a pattern of how the lengths change and how the widths change. So we got to be thoughtful when we do this. The blank stays the same. Does the length or does the width stay the same? The length stays the same. The widths increase or decrease? Well, they're increasing, and it looks like, yep, they're increasing by 10 feet. So now we're going to talk about the areas, and that's this column of our chart. The areas are increasing by what? Ooh. This takes a little bit more. So go ahead and pause the video. Figure out what each area is increasing by. All right, so you should have figured out the how much each area is increasing by, and you should have gotten 80 feet. Um, this is definitely tough, but for me, I looked at these two numbers, 400 to 480, and that was a little bit easier math for me. All right, I want to show you two more problems. The next one I wanted to show you is this problem. I'm showing you this problem 
um, to help you draw the problem. So it reads, Elizabeth built a sandbox that is four feet long. So let's draw it right here. Four feet long and four feet wide. So four feet, four feet. So this is a sandbox. She also built a flower garden that is four feet long. So I'm gonna do FG for flower garden. It's four feet long and six feet wide. So four feet and then six. Okay. Not quite a square like that sandbox. So four feet and then six feet. And a vegetable garden, man, she was busy drawing. So a vegetable garden here is going to be four feet and then eight feet wide. So four feet and then eight feet. How do the areas change? Complete the explanation. So really this problem is, it's not that tough. There's just a, a different handful of steps to do, which is, which is tough for us. So the area of the sandbox is blank square feet. Well, area is length times width. How many square feet are inside? Well, there would be 16 square feet because I did 4 times 4 equals 16 feet squared. The area of the flower garden, ah, see how important it is that we label? This is 4 times 6 equals 24 feet squared. The area of the vegetable garden is, again, area for length um, times width is 4 times 8 equals 32 feet squared. And once again, it wants to know how much the area is increased by. So pause the video, find out how much these areas are increasing. So you should have figured out that the area increased by 8 square feet for each problem. Last problem. So I like this problem too. You guys will see this. Um, reading a table is definitely a different type of math skill. It's a different type of reading also. But I'm confident that you guys will see some patterns. So go ahead and draw this table right away. It says find the pattern and complete the chart. So pause the video and draw this out. But when you draw it out, you don't need to write all these words. What you can do is just do A for area, length, and feet. And then width in feet. Those are our unit measures, so that's always important. And then you can just draw it out. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Go ahead and draw this out. And the ones that are blank, leave blank. Uh, make little squares like this as you make your table. So make your table and then unpause the video. And we'll go ahead and fill it out. So the first thing it says is to find the pattern and complete the chart. Well, when I look across here at the total area, area is the space inside. It goes from 10 square feet to 20 square feet, 30 square feet, 40 square feet. And that's right, it would be 50 square feet. I know it's the length, 10, 10. I can assume that's 10, 10, 10. The width is also measured in feet, and it looks like it's increasing by one. So I don't feel like finding those patterns are too tough for you, but now let's go through and see what else it wants. How can you use the chart to find the length and width of a figure with an area of 90 square feet? Complete the explanation. So with an area of 90 square feet, so my area, 90. Well, I wouldn't just put 90 here because that doesn't follow the pattern. So what you're going to want to do is extend that table that you made. Remember at the beginning of this problem, I asked you to extend the prop, um, draw the table. So we're going to extend it 60, 70, 80, 90, and then we can just fill in the pattern. We just draw the table and then extend it. So six, seven, eight, nine. Now we can add it. So what's the length? Well, the length is still 10. The width, is nine and the figure is a rectangle um it would be a square if there 